This is what a tank looks and sounds like from the outside. It is quite different in the cramped quarters beneath the hatch. Five. One shot, one kill, sir. Actually, that's two shots. That's two shots. <laughs> we were given the chance to get behind the wheel and the guns of an M1 tank and a Bradley fighting vehicle. And we never had to go outside. That's because simulators like these are now being used to bring soldiers up to speed. We can run a good mission several times here, dry run in simulations, before we can go out and actually do it for the, for the live fire, make our live fire exercise a little bit more effective. Not to mention, it costs less. The simulations facility at Harmony Church is actually a money saver, and here's a good example. This is a dummy shell, a 25 millimeter, that would be fired from a Bradley fighting vehicle. If they don't have to shoot these, they're saving $70 per shell. We gain most of their equipment from Fort Knox. Ron Marshall is the facility's operations manager. He says the simulators, all 64 of them, have been well received. Majority of the feedback that we get from the soldiers, you know, they enjoy it, they love it. They come in here, they fine tune all their skills prior to going out to the gunnery ranges. So when they do go to the gunnery ranges, it's a one time deal because you've done all your mistakes all right here in the simulations facility. Enjoy and roll Bravo 3 and Bravo 4 second sis. But we were curious, does rehearsing with video game technology in an air conditioned building represent a true picture of the battlefront? It is a little bit different by having them in here as far as the environment, but it allows them to focus more on, on thinking about what they're doing before they actually go out there and they have to endure the additional stress. Speaking of which, the simulators themselves can lead to stress. Hey, what do I do? <laughs> as we learn, just trying to get out of the things.